What is up Po Sa Inyong Laha? Hello 801 beautiful vlogs, TV subscribers and supporters. Mega mega shout out to our fellow super YouTuber. Nishi Renderer. How are you doing today? For those who are new to my channel. My name is Jason. I am the creator of Vlogs TV YouTube channel. I am a teacher here in the Philippines, a YouTuber, and a road safety advocate as well. I want to share my vlogs to everyone who might find my content useful. I talk about educational topics like educational vlogs, health vlogs, moto vlogs, and paranormal vlogs. If you like my content today, please do click on that red subscribe radio button on YouTube and please click on the notification bell as well to get updated on my latest uploads. You can find more of my contents on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Are you looking for first aid vlogs about allergies, mild or severe? If that is so, this vlog is what you've been looking for. Content. Allergy, mild or severe anaphylaxis. Mild allergies are caused by dust, pollen, insect bites, or certain foods, chemicals or medicines. These are usually treatable with antihistamines. Signs of a mild allergy. Itching, swollen, red eyes, rash or redness, sneezing. If there is an insect bite, it may swell. A severe allergic reaction is much more dangerous and can quickly stop someone's breathing. Signs of a severe allergy anaphylaxis. Flushing, itching, or rash. Swollen lips, mouth, or throat difficulty swallowing. Difficulty breathing. Swollen hands or feet. Nausea or stomachache. The most common signs are rash and breathing problems. If the person cannot swallow or is having trouble breathing, give epinephrine right away. You can give another dose in 5 to 15 minutes if necessary. Epinephrine comes in different strengths and different amounts may be needed to give the same dose. Figure out the correct amount and have it ready in a medicine kit before emergencies happen. Or stock a pre-loaded injection, called an EpiPen or known by other brand names. Inject epinephrine in the thigh muscle. Elevate the feet above the heart. For breathing problems you can also give salbutamol. It is also a good idea to give an antihistamine. In most cases, if you ever have an allergic reaction to a medicine, food, bee sting, or something else, you should avoid it forever after. The second time you are exposed you can expect an even worse reaction. Medicines for allergy or itching antihistamines. Itching, sneezing, and rashes caused by allergy can usually be treated with antihistamines. Any antihistamine works about as well as any other. So if you do not have chlorpheniramine or diphenhydramine, use another antihistamine in the right dose this will vary for each drug. All antihistamines make people drowsy, but some more than others. These drugs are not helpful for the common cold. Antihistamines should be avoided during pregnancy. If they must be given, choose a first generation antihistamine such as chlorpheniramine or diphenhydramine and give with plenty of water. For a severe allergic reaction where there is difficulty breathing, epinephrine, adrenaline, is needed as well as antihistamines. Chlorpheniramine, chlorphenamine. Chlorpheniramine is an antihistamine that reduces itching, sneezing, rashes, and other problems caused by allergies. It can be used after an insect bite, a mild allergy to a food or medicine, or for hay fever, sneezing and itchy eyes from pollen in the air. Side effects. Sleepiness but this is less likely than with other antihistamines. Important. Do not give to pregnant women unless necessary. Do not give during an asthma attack. How to use. 1 to 2 years, give 1 mg 2 times a day until the child feels better. 3 to 5 years, give 1 mg every 4 to 6 hours until the child feels better. The news. 6 to 12 years, give 2 mg every 4 to 6 hours until the person feels better. Over 12 years, give 4 mg every 4 to 6 hours until the person feels better. For severe allergic reaction, first inject epinephrine, follow with chlorpheniramine by mouth and the doses listed to help prevent the reaction from coming back when the epinephrine wears off. Diphenhydramine. Diphenhydramine is an antihistamine that reduces itching, sneezing, rashes, and other problems caused by allergies. It can be used after an insect bite, a mild food or drug allergy, or for hay fever, sneezing and itchy eyes from pollen in the air. Side effects. Sleepiness. Important. Diphenhydramine may cause dizziness, sleepiness or blurred vision. Do not drive or operate machinery if using this medicine. Drinking alcohol may increase the sleepiness caused by diphenhydramine. Do not give to newborn babies or women who are breastfeeding. It is best not to give diphenhydramine to pregnant women unless necessary. Do not give during an asthma attack. How to use. 
The dose is the same for giving diphenhydramine by mouth or as an injection into the muscle. 2 to 5 years, give 6 mg every 4 to 6 hours. Do not give more than 37 mg per day. 6 to 11 years, give 12 to 25 mg every 4 to 6 hours. Do not give more than 150 mg per day. Over 12 years, give 25 to 50 mg every 4 to 6 hours. Do not give more than 400 mg per day. For severe allergic reaction, first inject epinephrine. Following with diphenhydramine in the doses listed will help prevent the reaction from coming back when the epinephrine wears off. 2 to 11 years, give 1 to 2 mg per kg, every 6 hours. If you cannot weigh the child, use the doses. By age listed above, and give the larger amount. Do not give more than 50 mg at one time, or for the 300 mg per day. Over 12 years, give 25 to 50 mg, every 2 to 4 hours. Do not give more than 100 mg in 4 hours. Or 400 mg per day. Epinephrine, Adrenaline. Epinephrine is used for severe allergic reaction, anaphylaxis, to medicines, foods, insect stings or bites, or other things that cause a severe allergic reaction. It helps reverse the effects such as difficulty breathing, wheezing, severe skin itching, and hives. Side Effects. Fear, restlessness, nervousness, tension, headaches, dizziness, increased heart rate. Important. Epinephrine often comes in ampules of 1 mg per 1 ml liquid. Epinephrine is also available in preloaded auto-injectors, but these come in different amounts. Be sure to read to see how much epinephrine is in your auto-injector to make sure you are giving the correct amount. How to use. For severe allergic reaction, inject into the muscle in the outer part of the mid-thigh. For the views. 1 to 5 years, inject 1 quarter mg, 0.25 mg. 6 to 12 years, inject 1 third mg, 0.33 mg. Over 12 years, inject 1 half mg, 0.5 mg. If needed, you can give a second dose in 5 to 15 minutes, and a third dose in 5 to 15 minutes after that. Do not give more than 3 doses. After giving epinephrine, give an antihistamine such as chlorpheniramine or diphenhydramine. This will help prevent the reaction from coming back when the epinephrine wears off. Salbutamol, albuterol. Salbutamol relaxes the muscles in the airway to increase air flow to the lungs. It is used to treat wheezing or shortness of breath from asthma or inhaling a lot of smoke from a fire. Side effects. Trembling, nervousness, dizziness, fast heartbeat, and headaches. How to use. Give two puffs from an inhaler, 200 micrograms, every 4 to 6 hours as needed. For the views, use with a spacer for better effects. It is okay to give more than the amounts listed above if the person feels they need it. If symptoms persist, consult your doctor. Outro. Well, I hope you guys like my video today. Please share your thoughts about my topic today in the comments section and I'm gonna do my best to read them and make an immediate reply to each of you. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Cheers to the growing 801 YouTube subscribers who inspires me. Thank you very much for all your love.